Hot Takes, episode 5. And today's slightly different because today is based all around music videos. T to be fair, I asked this over a week ago and we're only getting around to it now. But what can I say? There's been a lot of music dropping, but I really want to get this video out. So yeah, let's go. Jordan by Complete is the best Aussie music video of all time. No cap. Um... I can see where you're coming from, but I do disagree. I see where you're coming from because it's a powerful video, you know? If you haven't heard the song, I urge you to go listen to it and then come back to me and hear my thoughts. Or even if you haven't heard it in a while, just go check it out anyway. It's a very powerful song by Complete and it has a very, very heavy subject matter. And I think what Jordan does is he sets out this video that is so simple yet conveys his message so well as a music video itself it's nothing special like there's no crazy editing there's no amazing location there's you know there's nothing like that but it does achieve its job and so it's probably one of the most successful videos for conveying the message of the song Yes, I would agree with you there. Is it the best out and out music video? No. For a music video itself, it's pretty basic. But for what it does in terms of complementing the message of the song, it does an absolutely incredible job. Yes. Raw music videos can sometimes be better than big budget ones. Do you agree? And if so, what are some of your favorite raw videos? Uh, right, let's break this down. The first part, yes, raw music videos can sometimes be better than big budget ones, especially if it's a moment in that artist's career. If it's the song that blows up or if it's the freestyle that gains a lot of attention. Like how many freestyles are literally one shot, one camera, maybe two different camera shots at best, yet it absolutely explodes. Chilling it's one breath, one take wasn't a crazy video, but it still did how many millions of views? Complete Jordan. It's a raw music video. If you're really talking about one shot videos, Wombat is a prime example of that. Cursor has never had the craziest videos in history, yet his whole come up was incredible. And I mean, now he's up the levels on his videos massively, but you know, he he blew on raw music videos. Yes, it is entirely possible, but that does have a heavy reliance on one, the artist being likable slash having attention and gaining traction anyway. Like if Drake does a one take video, people are going to listen because it's Drake. Like it's not because of the video you get what i'm saying um whereas if you are an artist that is new then maybe yeah raw videos of course may make sense if it's your first one especially if you're on a come up and don't have budget etc etc but that kind of leads me into this next take by the way we will come back to what some of my favorite videos are we will come back to that music videos increase viewership if you don't have one or it's low effort you're doing it wrong Part of me agrees with this, and it's an exact contradiction to the previous hot take. So you got people who believe that the video doesn't matter, it's about the song, sometimes raw videos can sometimes be the best ones, and then equally, you need to have a professional looking video for it to be worthwhile. I can see both sides of things. The way I see it is unless you have exceptional talent, yes, a professional looking music video is going to help you. There are plenty of songs I refer back to because of how good the music video is. But do you want to be known for the videos you produce or do you want to be known for the music? Now, if you want to be known for the videos, there's nothing wrong within that. Like, you know, and, and, and there can be artists or groups that do both. For example, Triple One. Triple One, I love their music and I like their videos. Like, their videos are absolutely fucking incredible. Equally, I love Wombat. And Wombat doesn't have crazy videos on average. He's done the odd one here or there with like zombie and whatnot. But for the most part, they are just one takes. Sometimes you get artists that have these crazy looking videos and the song is average as anything. Likewise, it can be the other way around. So I wouldn't say you're necessarily doing it wrong if you don't have a big budget video. But would it help you? Yes, it would help the average artist. Now coming back to some of my favorite raw videos, Chilling It and Wombat's When Worlds Fail Music Speaks. Chilling It's Feeling Pain. That's literally just taking like, uh, not Adventure Time, what's the other one? Whatever that cartoon is and literally just slapping that over the top. Like, nothing special. Love the song though. And I mean, if we're actually thinking about the music video itself, then yeah, let's focus on that. Nerves Walk and Talks. Yes, it's captioned and yes, it has a nice camera and certain angles are kept in mind, but 
I like the concept of the video for a one take freestyle. Yes, I like it. Half of the videos that Flo's Dilioni has done. Flo's doesn't have crazy high editing videos, yet some of them are fucking iconic. The price of life is iconic. Oh, Husky and Little Snow's, um, Husky and Snow's servo. There you go. Done. Done. Answer complete. Rumors by HP boys will be the best video this year. Uh, it will be up there. That's for sure. I mean, just to give you an insight of the videos that I actually do have in mind for videos of the year so far, it does include uh, HP Boys. Even though it was released December 2020, I'm going to count it in this year since it was released so late on. Uh, Pistol Pete and Enzo's Family. That's a great video. Bitter Believes Beautiful Ugly. Uh, Manu Crooks Don't Cross the Line. Young and Lips Spaceship. Like, there's a couple of videos this year that have really stepped up really stepped up so yeah i can't lie that that's gonna be a, a good video by the end of the year and we're only not even halfway through this year and i've already got five or six here that slap so yeah i'm sure this list is gonna be good by the end oh i've only just seen this one you only like triple one because of how good their videos are not true i like them because of their music too now the only bit of truth within that is that i go back to triple one to refer back to their videos quite often. Yes, but I do genuinely like their music in general, so I'm going to shut that one down pretty quick. Carl Golly is the best videographer in Oz. He's one of the best, definitely. I don't think I could ever outright give you the best. I don't know enough about, about videography to, to break down every precise little detail and, you know, technique that's used and what's more difficult. I'm, I'm not going to do that. But I will say that Carl Golly has some of the best videos yes from someone who has a minimal amount of knowledge and who is just a fan and has opinions yes i really like what he does with nerve and what he's done with scrub and what he has done with other artists yes moonboy entertainment crazy visions jay and collective like these are some people that i've absolutely smashed it in the last year or two and there is so many more i can name it actually if you want to you can go to my 2020 uh, top five videographers of the year list and and go and watch that that might be relevant to this video so if if i remember to i'll link that down below if not can someone remind me to but yeah i think that's going to do for this video i think we talked about plenty today but um yeah let me know what you think what is some of your favorite videos to come out of australia not only this year but of all time let me know what you think and uh yeah appreciate you man for watching this video